Hi, I'm Don, here to talk to you about the brand new Jayco Greyhawk Class C motorhome. This is probably one of the most important web videos that we shoot in our company because now the Jayco Greyhawk is the number one selling Class C motorhome in several markets in the United States, and I'm here to tell you why. First of all, as many of you know, Jayco is the largest privately held RV manufacturer in the world. The Greyhawk Class C has a ton of new features that I want to explain to you. First and foremost, look at the brand new exterior cap on the front of this motorhome. The cap is absolutely fabulous. Less leaks. You're not going to get leaks like you get in the other brands. A lot of other brands you see where they have a lot of seams, a lot of corner molding, a lot of screws that rust. You can look at pretty much any manufacturer out there and you're going to see that old style 1990s way of manufacturing. You're not going to see that with Jayco. Top of the line all the way through. Again, exterior mirrors. Heated and, re and remote electric mirrors. This is like your high-end automotive um, cars. It's like, if, you know, when you get a brand new car that's a high-end car, you're going to have electric mirrors, heated mirrors. You have that here in the Jayco as well. When Jayco gets the chassis shipped to them from Ford, they actually get a cheaper mirror that comes standard with the motorhome. What Jayco does, they take those mirrors. They toss them out. The other guys, they might use them. We're not sure what happens with them. But Jayco, they toss those out. They put on these mirrors. In addition, and John, I want you to get a good shot of this right here. In addition, Jayco has an optional feature, which we bring most of the units in with, with the side view cameras. Side view cameras are something that is rarely seen in a Class C motorhome. Side view camera allows you, when you turn your directional on, left or right, to see an entire vision of the side of the unit. So there's no blind spots. Nobody else is doing that. Jayco, again, is one of the top features they have. As we move towards the back of the unit here, also I want to get a good shot of the running boards. Standard from Ford on the chassis cutaway is going to be either no running boards or metal running boards. Jayco, again, tosses those out. They put on fiberglass flared running boards. Nice molded running board, very high end look, easy to get in and out of the coach. It's one of the best features with Jayco that a lot of other brands just don't have. As we continue to move down the side of the camper here, I want to point out the electric awning. Again, a lot of different brands put on the standard roll-up type awning or they're going to charge you a ton of money to put electric awning on. With Jayco, this is standard. Electric awning means, folks, you just press a button, goes in and out with one touch of the button. It's a fabulous feature. Again, that's, you're going to have that on the Jayco. Notice, of course, the radius entry door as well. A lot of different brands use a square entry door, a smaller entry door. If that scrapes the awning, it's going to tear it. With Jayco, that's not going to happen. One of the things I like to talk about on the Jayco product as well are things that you necessarily cannot see because a lot of times the integrity of a coach is built deep with inside of it. Inside of it. Now with the Jayco, one of the features they use that 95% of their brands don't even consider ever using, even on their high-end Class A's, is called rubber insulator mounts on the chassis. Rubber insulator mounts, what they do is when you have a chassis for a motorhome, what happens is the motorhome is built on top of that metal frame. Jayco uses 12 to 18 rubber mounts on their frame when other brands don't use any. What the rubber mounts do is it provides a softer, more smooth ride when you're driving down the road. If you can imagine a motorhome built on a metal frame like a travel trailer would be, that's the way all the other Class C manufacturers are doing it. They take the motorhome, they mount it on the frame, and you're driving down the road, you're getting all the bumps. Much, it's a very stiff ride, it's a hard ride. With Jayco, they use 12 to 18 rubber mounts they look like large size hockey pucks. And they mount those to the frame and they are in between the body of the motorhome and the frame of the, of, the, of, the, of the chassis. The reason that's so important is you get such a much more smooth ride and a lot of things inside don't shake. So you get a really tight ride when you're driving with the Jayco motorhome. One of the things I want to talk about too is Helwig helper springs. Again, this is another feature you cannot see. Jayco uses Helwig helper springs with all their Class C motorhomes. No other manufacturer is doing that standard. The Helwig helper spring creates a 30% smoother ride when you're driving in a Class C motorhome. Jayco, it's standard. Those are things you don't normally see until you get into high-end Class A motorhomes. Jayco's putting it standard in all their Class Cs. Again, as we're moving towards the back here, I want to focus on the sidewall. Jayco uses what's called a Lamalux 4000 sidewall. Lamalux sidewall is a high-gloss exterior that resists UV penetration. A lot of you experienced RVers out there, you're going to know that uh, you know, a lot of older motorhomes used to get yellowing and some fading and even things called delamination. You're not going to get that with the Jayco. It's a vacuum bonded, laminated sidewall, Lamalux 4000. It's one of the best sidewalls you can have in the industry. 
Great feature with the Jayco, huge storage in the back. One of the best things I love about this storage is that it's got the rough exterior, or rough, I'm sorry, the rough flooring here. So if you ever throw anything in there, it's not going to damage, it's not going to, you know, you can throw firewood and that kind of stuff. The reason I point that out, that's a big difference between some of our competitors. You see a lot of brands out there, they use like a, like a plastic or something that could crack or damage or break. That's not going to happen here with the Jayco. Very durable flooring. Plus it's got tie downs. John, make sure you get a good shot of these tie downs in here. There's one back there I lifted up earlier in here. So if you want to, you know, throw anything in there, the kids, the mother-in-law, you tie it right down right inside there. It's not going to come loose. Notice it comes to this table too. Jayco throws that in there as well. So if you need an extra table for tailgating or, or picnics or what have you, um, you got it. One of the other features I want to point out with the Jayco product is their high-end exterior appointments. You notice too with their bumper, it's a powder-coated bumper. It's got the nice, durable white paint. I point that out because a lot of people think, maybe, well, that's a basic feature. But you see a lot of cheap motorhomes out there nowadays that are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars more, and they're using that cheap metal bumper. Jayco puts on their own bumper. It's a white powder coated finish. This is not something that's going to rust in two, three, four, or five years. It's going to last a long time. Also comes standard with the tow hitch. It's a heavy duty class three hitch. That's standard with all the Jayco's. Notice the wiring they put on it too. This is the seven way wiring. It's not a cheap four way flat wiring or anything like that. You want to tow a car, tow dolly, a uh, motorcycle trailer or something like that with a Jayco. It's all prepared. It's ready to go. It's not going to cost anything extra. As we move around the exterior here, I also want to point out just how big this storage compartment is. Sorry, John, getting in your way here. But it's just so huge. I mean, you can climb right through this thing. you got a ton of space. It's about 20 to 25% more storage in the back of this Greyhawk motorhome than in any other Class C on the market. Another great feature I want to point out, again, it's sort of small, but if, if someone doesn't tell you, you know, you're not going to notice it. This here is the, is the, is the uh, crank down for the spare tire. Spare tire standard on the Jayco. Plus, you just get in here, you crank it down, it comes right down. It's below the camper. And the reason I point that out is because a lot of different brands, one, either they don't give you a spare tire, which is going to cost you about 700 bucks if it doesn't come with it, and in order to get it out, a lot of times they'll throw it inside a storage compartment. You'll notice when you go look at some of our competitors, notice where they put the spare tire. Sometimes it's in your storage compartment. If you get one at all with Jayco, it's mounted underneath an easy crank to, to crank it down. I think that's one of the best features. One of the other features I want to point out is Jayco's Water Command Center. This is something that a lot of motorhome manufacturers do not do until you get into the $150,000 to $200,000 motorhome range. This is where you can winterize your entire RV in one place and also control the water system for using city water or utilizing your portable water tank. Its bottom line is it takes you two to three minutes to be able to winterize your motorhome with a Jayco motorhome versus other brands could take you a half hour, 45 minutes, and 40 to 50 dollars more. Jayco has one area you can go and control where all the water goes in your motorhome, whether you're hooked up to city water or whether you're using your portable water. That's standard with the Jayco product. Also, one of my favorite features, as my brother likes to tell me all the time, is the outside shower because if you have those relatives that you need to hose off, you just use this, hose them down. Uh, your, your kids, your dog, uh, or you know, maybe yourself. You went fishing today and you just got a little dirty from fishing, you just hose yourself down. So. Um, that's the outside shower, my favorite feature. One of the things, too, I cannot um, forget to point out, it's very important, John, we get a good shot of it here, and that is Jayco's, all their Greyhawk motorhomes come standard with a sewer tank flush kit. That is about a $400 to $500 option if you add that aftermarket with any motorhome. What that does is, it, and you're holding tanks inside, if you need to flush them out or clean them out, which is probably the right thing to do every three to, you know, two to three times a year, you just go ahead and hook up a hose to that, it flushes out the entire tanks inside. That comes standard with all the Greyhawk motorhomes. Folks, that's one of the other features I really want to make sure I'm pointing out to you that it's one of those things that if you just looked at the motorhome, you'd say, wow, it's pretty. It might be one of the best looking motorhomes on the market, but it's the best built motorhome on the market. That leads me to one of my points I need to make sure I emphasize with you. Jayco's warranty is two times double what all the other manufacturers are. A two-year warranty, bumper to bumper. Go out and ask all the other motorhome manufacturers. When you walk into the dealership, just say to the salesman casually, What's your warranty on that? What's the bumper to bumper warranty on it? They're gonna they're gonna tell you one year. One year. Jayco doubles that warranty. There's a reason for that, folks, and that's very important you're picking that up when I'm talking about this product. As we walk around the rest of the outside, I just want to point out again, Jayco's high gloss exterior. Um, it's just a huge advantage when you're, you know, you have a motorhome and you're gonna resell it. It's really important that you buy a product that's gonna have that really high end look for many, many years to come. And Jayco's gonna have that. One of the things down here, John, I want you to get a good shot at is the generator. Jayco uses a 4,000 watt 
Onan generator. Folks, this is so important because, again, when you're going out there looking at different motorhomes in the market, you're going to see Generac, a bunch of different cheaper brands that are out there. For those of you that are experienced RVers, I don't have to talk much about this. I just sit here and say, hey, it's got an Onan generator. You say, wow, they have the best generator on the market. That's right. The reason Onan is the best generator on the market is because they've been making generators for almost 100 years, and they've dominated the RV industry for at least 50 years. So it's really important that you know you're getting the name brand products with the, with the Jayco Motorhome. John, before we go inside, one of the other shots I want you to get here for the viewers at home, so important, is called the electric step for Jayco. Jayco has a double step electric step that goes in and out as you open the door of the motorhome. Now, one of the things, as I, I have it set out here so people can see a good shot of it, the reason I want to point this out, it's so important, is because this is another example of how Jayco is putting extra features on their unit, standard, that when all the other manufacturers are cost cutting. They're, they're looking for ways not to put on extra things. And folks, when you're out there shopping for motorhome, make sure you focus on all the features that you just don't get with the other brands, that you get with the Jayco, for a price that's as good or better. Electric double entry step, the reason I focus on this is because a lot of different brands right now are going to what's called an integrated step well. Integrated step well is no step at all. They lower the body of the coach. The lower the body of the coach is, the more possibility that is to get damaged by hitting a, hitting a speed bump or something like that. With Jayco, you're not going to have that. When you close the door or when you start up the engine, the step goes right in. It closes right up underneath the motorhome. And having a step that does that, so very important because it's very high off the ground, gives you much better ground clearance, no chance for damage. Yeah, it costs a little bit more, but that's Jayco's MO. They're going to go ahead and put more things on their motorhome for less money than anybody else. And all the other brands, those big public corporations that you see out there, they're just going to keep taking features out and trying to jack the price up. You're not going to see that with Jayco. Electric step sounds like a small feature, but it's an example of what I keep talking about with Jayco. Also notice the exterior speakers with the Jayco Greyhawk. These are standard. On all Jayco motorized product, exterior speakers for their entertainment center is standard on all their products. So if you're out here listening to the radio underneath the awning, you have two exterior speakers, one here and one down towards the end, both underneath the awning, standard features with the Jayco Greyhawk. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the inside of the Jayco Greyhawk. One of the best motorhomes I love to talk about the interiors is the Jayco Greyhawk. There, folks, there's so much to talk about the inside. I'm going to try to touch on as much as I can, but just for the sake of brevity, I'm going to try to move as quick as possible. So here we go. One of the biggest things as we look around the entire inside of the Jayco Greyhawk, I want you to notice the theme of quality. The small little minor details where a lot of people a lot of manufacturers might overlook. Jayco pays an enormous amount of attention to them. Just their quality of cabinetry, the way their cabinetry is built, the way it's actually real, real wood, not that paper or wrap stuff that you see in a lot of different brands. Also, Jayco's employees, one of the things I want to mention is a majority of their employees are Amish. The Amish are noted for quality craftsmanship. You're going to see that throughout all Jayco products. So again, cabinetry is a big, big, big plus with Jayco. And one of the things I'm going to point out here as we walk around the cab, too, is their, in their cockpit, the actual area where you sit when you're driving the Class C motorhome. Notice the upgraded wood grain dash kit. That's standard with Jayco. This has the navigate in-dash navigation system. A majority of our Class Cs that we stock, Greyhawks, are going to have the navigation kit because it's only a, I think it's like a $400 option to add on. So we go ahead and put it in there. That's one of the other great things about Jayco. They allow some of this... A few luxury upgrades like uh, side view cameras or a navigation system, they allow you to add those for very, very small cost. They're not one of those companies that's going to gouge you in price on that stuff. As far as some standard features up in the cockpit, this, you, you guys at home, you can't touch and feel this, so hopefully you can see me touching these seats and John's getting a good shot of it because, folks, this is an upgraded soft touch leather seat. J the Ford manufacturer sends these, these, these chassis with seats. Jayco takes those seats, they toss them out. The other manufacturers, they'll use them, they'll recover them, they'll do whatever. Jayco tosses those seats out. They put in these upgraded soft-touch leather seats, really smooth, comfortable. When you're driving down the road, you're going to feel like you could do a million miles in this coach. The other thing, too, John, I want you to try to get a good shot of the power seats right there. That's a huge feature. All the other brands out there on the market, they're not doing that. They're not using power seats. You're going to have to reach under there, try to adjust the seat. Jayco, it's standard power seats. It's a big, big plus. One of the things, too, I'm going to try to point out here, too, John, if you get a shot of it, is this overcab bunk. I love this feature. It's one of my favorite features because I have two little kids, and they love to sleep in all different places. You know, one night they want to sleep in bunk beds. The other night they want to sleep on the couch. The other night they want to sleep with mom and dad. 
this over cab bunk is a really cool feature. It makes it you know, all the more enjoyable for every family member, and I think that's a big plus with Jayco. They, they think about that stuff. And it's quality. It's made. When you, when, you, when you touch a Jayco motorhome, you feel the quality. You feel how solid stuff is. You look at some of the appointments that they do inside their motorhome that the other brands just aren't doing. One of the things I want to point out too, John, as we go, is the ceiling. The ceiling and the lights. This is called a soft touch ceiling. This is the type of motorhome, folks, you can see my fingers pushing right into the ceiling. This is the type of ceiling that a lot of the high-end diesel motorhomes use, but you're going to see that here in the Jayco motorhomes. Folks, when you're out there shopping for motorhomes, look at some of the roofs that they use. They use carpeted roofs. They use roofs that are, have, that are Luan paneling. Pay attention to that stuff. Jayco uses a soft-touch leather roof, high-end feel, dampens the sound, easy to clean. That's a big plus. I still can't believe I, I just came back from a national trade show where all the manufacturers displayed their products. I couldn't believe I saw 70% of the Class C manufacturers still using carpeted ceilings because that holds the smoke smell when you clean stuff, when you're uh, making dinner or something inside. It just holds the smell. That's not going to happen with the Jayco. Just a much, much more high quality look and a, just a much more durable product. Also, John, get a good shot of these lights too. The recessed halogen lights. Folks, these are high-end appointments that you see, again, in, in motorhomes that are two, three times this price point. And they're not going to use the cheap lights that a lot of these other manufacturers are using. I'm going to go ahead and move towards the kitchen area here just for uh, good sake of getting the good, good shots. One thing I want to point out, again, is the cabinetry with Jayco. Again, all Amish-built cabinetry. This happens to be called the Provincial Glazed Maple. Jayco offers uh, multiple wood choices for their Class C motorhomes, and we love to do a lot of custom orders for people. So, folks, if you want to get a different color wood, that's no problem. We'll get it for you. I happen to like the glazed maple because it's a, it's a very rich look, yet it's not as dark as a cherry. So uh, that, that's the provincial glazed maple. One of the things, too, I want to point out is the, is the kitchen area here. One of the things Jayco does is they do like a 60-40 split sink, so you get one side that's a little bit bigger than the other, a little bit some pots and pans you could fit in there, big gooseneck um, uh, faucet here so you can fit like your pots and pans in there, things to clean. That's a big, big plus. The other thing too is Jayco has a window in their kitchen area that actually opens. A lot of different brands, they have windows in their kitchen area that don't even open. And you, it's hard to believe, but it's true. In Jayco, they use a bigger window and a window that can actually open. So that's a big, big plus. One of the things I want to point out too in the kitchen area is again the quality of their construction. When you look at this cabinet here, you see the metal drawer glides. My wife and I built a house not too long ago and one of the most expensive areas of the house was the kitchen because they look at different types of cabinetry and stuff like that. And John, if you can get a good shot in here, you look at you actually look how this wood is. This is actually plywood, folks. This is plywood. This is not wafer board. Metal drawer glides, plywood cabinetry. Big big points that you really want to see on the Jayco Motorhome versus other brands. Another thing too, my brother just made it a point, make sure I point out to people, he said, Don, talk about the, the waste paper basket in the Greyhawk Class C. I said, Mark, I said, wait, waste paper basket in the Class C. I said, you can get that anywhere. He said, Don, no, no, that's not the waste paper basket. He goes, how many Class C Motorhomes have you seen out there that you have no place to put garbage? There's no place to put trash. He goes, Jayco thinks about that. Yeah, they give you the, the nice little waste paper basket. He said, that's not the point. Look at the space that they give you to put it in. Other brands don't have that. So when it comes time to throw out your trash or whatever, you have no place to put it. Jayco thinks of that stuff. They make the cabinet space that you're going to use, folks. Not only, fo not only the cabinet space you're going to use, but the cabinet space that you want. It's pretty good. As we continue to move towards the back here, I'm just going to point out more of this kitchen area and more of the galley space. Just again, high-end cabinetry. One of the features you can get here, we happen to be in the 31 SS Greyhawk. You can actually get what's called the galley TV setup too. If you get the galley TV, this cabinetry comes out and this is where your TV is going to go. That's important to point out to you folks at home because if you're going to go ahead and order a unit like that or look at one like that, this is where the TV actually goes in. It sits right up here and a lot of your entertainment stuff just goes right inside there. That's a great feature too. I'm sort of torn. I like the extra cabinetry. Johnny could probably get a good shot of that. You see it's really nice amount of cabinetry. And um, you get the TV there or the, ca or the extra cabinet space, but either way, you get what you want. One of the things, too, as I'm pointing out cabinet space that I like to always tell people is inside the Jayco Motorhome, you look at the height. I'm a pretty, I don't know, average height guy. I'm 5'10", um, 5'11", and this is 84 inch into your height. Folks, most motorhomes on the market are 78 inches high. 78 inches high, you can imagine how much lower that's going to feel inside. You really get a little, you know, you feel sort of cramped in the other brands. With Jayco, 84 inch interior height, and a lot of people think, wow, that's great, 84 inches high. Okay, what's the next feature? You know what? It's not really just about the extra height. 
Think about the higher cabinets you get. Think about the space that you're getting in here. When you go ahead and you want to actually put in, uh, a, a, let's say, a, a thing of oatmeal or uh, more, more space for some soup or that uh, microwavable popcorn. Folks, you have more cabinet space in the Jayco because it's that much higher. You know, six inches higher makes a, makes a, makes a big, big difference. So again, as we keep moving through the galley here, John, I'm sure, is getting fabulous shots of this kitchen area. It's just uh, absolutely amazing. One of the big features in the Jayco Greyhawk also is their refrigerator. This is an eight cubic foot refrigerator, folks, built by Norcold. 95% of the Class C manufacturers use a six foot cubic refrigerator. Folks, six foot cubic refrigerator is much smaller than this. You're going to lose, in a six foot cubic refrigerator, you're going to lose about that much space. With the Jayco, it comes standard with the eight, eight cubic foot refrigerator. That's a big deal. Norcold is another thing I want to point out too on this fridge. And uh, John's, I'm sure, is going to get this nice control panel here, which allows you to change the temperature settings. But John, more important, I want you to point that right there. Folks, this is not sad enough nowadays, but with the Norcold refrigerator, folks, it's built in America. All other brands, they use Dometic. Dometic's made in Sweden. I have friends from Sweden, but you know what? I prefer to buy stuff that's made in America. With Jayco, you're going to get that. So it's a big plus. I'm going to go ahead and turn this way, John. We're going to try to get some good shots of this one big mirror here. I want to tell people about this because, this, again, it seems like a small feature, but folks and all the other motorhomes out there, when it comes to the wall that the slide comes in on, they're going to give you a big blank wall. Jayco, nice high-end mirror. It's beveled. It's a cut glass finish. It's a beveled glass finish right there. It's a high-end. It's just a high-end feature. Jayco's putting all their stuff. You're not going to see that in other, in other brands. You get to their dinette. One of the things about Jayco, too, is they use what's called the Dream Dinette. John, I want you to get a nice good shot underneath here. Notice there's no legs. Folks, those of you who've been in the RV industry for a while, or you've seen cameras out there, tables mount to the floor. That's where tables mount. Folks, this table's not mounted to the floor. It's got the Dream Dinette. The Dream Dinette mechanism here is a patented system by Jayco. Now, there's a couple copycat people trying to do something similar to it, but they can't seem to figure out how Jayco's engineers have done it. You can sit in this dinette. John, look at my feet. Look, at, look how my feet under here. I can sit here, and someone can sit next to me, and our feet aren't going to be hitting a pole or a post. With the other brands, there's poles or posts, and you've got to turn your feet, and it gets all awkward and crazy. With the Jayco, you have the Dream Dinette. And folks, this is not only in their Greyhawk motorhomes, but it's also in a lot of their travel chillers, too. And the way the Dream Dinette works, when you go to make it down into a bed, is you flip a little lever here, and you go ahead and you just push right down on it. Look at that system. It just slides right down the wall. And then you go ahead and pull out the cushions, and it makes them to the bed. That's called the Dream Dinette. It's a great feature. And, uh, you know, I, I grew up in the, in the RV industry. My dad started this business. And it's actually hard for me to imagine RVs built without the Dream Dinette. That's the way they were for many years. And now there's still some people doing that, and they're just inferior, you know. So Jayco's Dream Dinette, great feature. Another thing I want to point out, too, is the storage. Great storage underneath Jayco's Dinettes. Again, same thing on the other side. As we go ahead and just pan through here, John, look at the nice high-end lights. The window treatments, they're all boxed valances. Boxed valances, not using cheap curtains or anything like that. Cabinetry in the slide. Big, big, big plus. We'll go ahead and move back towards the bedroom here. One of the things I want to point out is the shower. And this particular layout that we're in, it's, it's the 31SS Greyhawk. It's one of the most popular Greyhawk Class Cs. It's got the split bath, so it has the shower on this side. Folks, this is actually... A glass shower door enclosure. A lot of different brands. They use a really cheap plastic that falls apart, hard to clean, or they're using actual curtains. It's just unsanitary. It's not as nice as the Jayco. Again, it's just much more high-end, high-end um, built than the other brands. And j again, just for quality's sake, I want to point out little things too. This is called a Cloud 10 mattress. Jayco uses what's called the Cloud 10 mattress. Folks, everybody else. They're throwing in this cheap mattress that, you know what, the reality is, you walk in a dealership lot, you look at it, you, you got to throw the thing away when you get it at home. With Jayco, you jump in the Cloud 10 mattress and you're going, wow, I, I, wish I, had, I wish I had this in my house because it's that comfortable. And I've slept on these. I've taken my kids camping. I have two little daughters. We go camping. We sleep on the bed. This bed is comfortable. It's really comfortable. And go ahead and look at the other mattresses, folks. Make sure when you go to these places, you look, you pull apart these, these RVs because when you pull apart a Jayco, you're impressed at every single turn. When you look at the other brands, not so much. So Cloud 10 mattress, that's a big, big feature. This is an awesome, awesome plus to the Jayco. Again, John, get a good shot of these cabinets in here. Jayco's, again, their cabinetry, the headboard. These are really high-end appointments in a motorhome. 
And why not demand this stuff? Jayco can do it because they're the largest privately held RV manufacturer in the world. Also want to get a good shot here, John, of the a fantastic fan. This big fan here, folks, that's in the bedroom. People think, well, it's just a fan. Well, you know what? You can use that in place of your air conditioner on many, many nights, and you're going to get a ton of air circulation. Actually exchanges the air in the, in the camper three times every minute, and that's going to come standard with all the Jayco Greyhawk motorhomes. Also, right next to that vent, I'd like to point out, is the actual air duct for the air conditioner. Folks, this is a huge feature. Not only is it you can change the direction of it, so let's say if you're like in the kitchen or wherever, you can change the direction of where the airflow from the air conditioner is coming, but folks, you can close this off. Winnebago, a few other brands as well, they don't do that, folks. I'm not afraid to say the brand names. You go out there and look. Folks, you're going to see it. They just use big honking air duct there, and if you want it to be off at night and your kids are up front and they want it to be on, you're, you're out of luck. With the Jayco, you can close it off, you can change the direction. Just again, it's, it's every place you look, Jayco's making their motorhome that much better. It's a big plus. John, the last place I want to take a look inside here is the bathroom. It's a big, really important thing. In fact, I'm going to go in here and point out a couple things. Maybe you can get some good shots. Folks, toilet. You think about the toilet, you're like, ah, wow, I don't know anything about the toilet, you know, but you know what? You do. It's a foot flush toilet, folks. You, when you go to flush the toilet, you got to just press it with your foot if, if it didn't flushes right down. Other brands, they use a lever on the back. You've got to reach back. It's so unsanitary. You're trying to flush the thing and your face is near the toilet bowl. That's no good. With Jayco, you actually use the foot flush toilet. So that's a big, big plus. Another thing, too, John, I want you to get a good shot of is just the storage space that's inside this, inside this bathroom. Just a ton of space. That's the way Jayco builds all their products. Usable, higher quality at every turn. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for now. There's so much stuff to see and love in the Jayco Greyhawk Class D motorhome. Please give us a call or come on down to the dealership. You'll see why we're so pumped up and we're so excited about these products. We could give you prices over the phone, payments over the phone, give you trade values over the phone. We're really easy to do business with. We'd love to have you stop down. Thanks and have a good day.